Hey, it's Mark Wallace. I'm here at Imaging USA in Phoenix, Arizona, and we are going to look around at the uh, expo really fast and sort of give some highlights of some of the gear that we saw that I think is really groovy. So uh, let's take a look around and see what we find. All right, here's something I really want to show you. This is the new Mamiya DL28, and here with us is Jeff from Mamiya. Hi, how you doing, Jeff? I'm great, thank you. Awesome. So we have, uh, basically, this is a 28 megapixel system, is that correct? That's right, that's right. With 12 stops of dynamic range, and the price on this guy is $14,999, is that right? That's right. And in addition to that price, we also offer a free lens, either a 55 millimeter wide angle oh, so we or have... a 150 as well. So this so is the 80, but it would be a 50. Would, you come with an 80, oh, okay. and you also have the choice of a 55 wide or a 150 telephoto. Sweet. So you get this and one other one That's for right. 15 grand, basically. That's right. Well, this is very sweet. And so what they have here is they have this setup where we're shooting tethered to this MacBook. And uh, can we take a couple shots of this dress? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple shots here, and uh, then we'll take a look and see how this looks. All right, so this bad boy, it's well balanced. I sort of like that. All right, here we go. Kawamo. Comes right up here on the back. Comes up on the MacBook, right over here. Very nice. And uh, the detail in this, can we zoom in and just sort of see some of the sure, crazy detail? We can look at some of the details. See, very, very fine detail. And we haven't really processed the file yet. This is just the raw file uh, on the monitor, so we actually have greater sharpness. Wow, and so is this a uh, proprietary RAW format? Is it DNG? What does it shoot? It's a proprietary RAW, but it can be read by Photoshop and Lightroom. Okay, and you so you're ready. You can convert it to a DNG if you wish. So very nice. Flexibility. And I heard there's some rumors about an iPhone interface. Do you have there that? Is indeed. Right now it's on beta version, but what will happen is when you're tethered, you'll shoot, you'll see the image on the camera, you see it on the monitor, and you also see it on the iPhone as well. So you'll be able to be within 50, 100 feet of the area, and a person like a, a, maybe a parent or an art director can actually see what's going on and not be stuck to the computer. And you don't have people looking over your back all the time. You can just have your iPhone and say, yeah. And then you can flip through the pictures as well, right? Back and, and forth. You can also zoom it. Wow, that is really, really sweet. So for 15 grand, you get a camera body, you get a digital back, you get two lenses, and uh, this really cool iPhone interface. Well, thank you very much, Jeff, for letting us play with this. My pleasure. And hey, I think that's Ann Getty's over there. Hey, we're here at the Chimera booth. This is Eileen Healy. How you doing? Great. And uh, I, this caught my eye a couple days ago, and this is exactly what is this speed ring? Uh, it's the uh, quick release version of our speed rings, and it enables you to uh, oh, that is quickly awesome. set up and down the light bank. So what you wouldn't have to do is sort of like torque in those bars. You can just sort of click it in and out. Man, my wife would love this because it's so much easier, it looks like. You can just, oh, especially doing that. So that is, and what's the uh, the retail price on this guy? They're about forty dollars more than the regular speed. So about forty bucks for a whole lot less pain of setting up and taking down. Exactly. Yeah. And you can sort of pop these in if you need to get through a door or something, right? Right. And ah. some uh, photographers don't think it's a good idea to have these because they think their assistants should uh, learn the way they do. <laughs> yeah, they should like have brute strength. <laughs> no, but this is great, and it just sort of locks in there. Yep. Terrific. And uh, these are compatible with Chimera soft boxes and Octa boxes and all kinds of things yeah. as well. Well, there's not a quick Octa. Okay, it's but really not the pressure on the Octa, but um, yeah, pretty much uh, any of the other rings. Any of the other guys. All right, and she won't tell you this, but I know they're also compatible with other soft boxes from different brands, so this is definitely worth it. Well, thank you very much, okay. All right. and off we go to see some more stuff. Great. Okay, I'm here with Bruce Dorn. He's an explorer of light, a Canon explorer of light. Yep. And uh, he has this really groovy thing for the 5D Mark II, which is called the U-Boat U -boat Explorer. U-Boat Commander. Commander. Because it feels like I'm, I'm operating the periscope. Ah, the very sweet. Or so it seems. But it, it's basically um, a modular video rig that takes advantage of the uh, 5D Mark II's built-in high-def function. And you can get it in three tiers. You can get the most basic, which is just a double-fisted grip. Notice that the base plate is relieved so that you can still get access to the battery. The second stage is what I call an underslung rig, so that you can not only 
do low angle shots with the camera, but you can also use this page architecture to mount a number of different accessories as your interest in video grows. And for me, it's grown to something about like this, which is the ultimate kit. Nice. And this guy takes advantage of the fact that the camera has great HD possibilities, but sort of poor form factor as a video camera. A single button here I push to make the camera roll. I adjust my exposure compensation right there. I triangulate with my wrist, and now I can control zoom and focus. By the way, I do recommend the kit lens, which is the 24-105 f4 IS. Brilliant for this combination. You notice I've got a Sennheiser mic on here. It uses the 3.5 input. Now the video or the audio input on this camera is uh, pretty automatic. It uses automatic gain controls internally. But Beach Tech is going to make a mixer which will allow you to adapt XLR uh, style of uh, audio connectors. So you can use shotgun mics, wireless, and so on with controls. It'll have uh, uh, meters. Uh, headphone jack so you can monitor the audio. That's but awesome. in the meantime, as a video camera, it's a cage much like you might see from somebody like Red Rock at a considerably higher price point. This, uh, as, as you see it, I think maybe one of the cold shoes or the two cold shoes might be extra cost items. But the basic architecture with the shoulder brace, the lower hand grips, the full cage, the underslung, weighs 29 ounces and cost show price $4.99, regularly $5.99. That's pretty sweet. And this is pretty light. Can I hold it? Yep. The bulk of what nice. you're feeling there is the weight of the camera. And you can sort of do some low point of view. You can do all kinds of interesting yep. things. Yep. And uh, you got it? I got it. And this guy, um, you can attach all kinds of different, like an HD monitor on there, different shotgun mics. Yep. And you can put like a French flag or something on the front. Yeah. I like to say that video parts. If you had a, uh, a jar of video peanut butter, it would cost you $12,000. <laughs> but uh, so a mat box that is a video specific mat box would cost you a bundle. This is just a standard still photography style Lee compendium lens shade with a two stage filter stuff. But I'm just loving this. In fact, uh, after I got to shoot uh, the second video with the camera for Canon right after Vincent did uh, mm -hmm. his reverie piece. Um, I fixed Vincent up with one of these. He used it over in Hawaii recently. Gave me a good report. Uh, I'm getting ready to go tonight to Montana to do a wild horse roundup and I'm going to be shooting I'm from Montana. Kalispell's where I'm here. I'm from Hamilton. I'll Get out of town. So, I know. In the Bitterroot. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, heading for the, I'm heading for the airplane shortly. Sweet, and you can uh, throw filters right in this, drop in your leaf filters. Uh, and filters, put uh, LCD on top. As your uh, obsession or addiction grows, you can add all kinds of accessories. But awesome. as it is, works really great for handheld. I'm actually working with a couple of yoga masters to work up a series of exercises nice. <laughs> for the videography. We're going to call it the Tao of HD. No, uh, very nice. All right, so I know Bruce has to go and be an explorer of light and give his talk, but thank you very much for spending some time with us. My pleasure. And this is pretty cool.